Okay, guys, I want to tell us a very short story. This is my HP NV17. It's a Core i7 8th generation uh, processor. It has a one terabyte internal hard drive in it and also a two gig VGA NVIDIA GeForce. Yes, this system has really served me for a very long time. I wouldn't want to say how long, but a very long time. Now, it's been a bone of my uh, production for a while. Yeah. So having, you know, gone through all the perks of um, what Windows has offered, the most annoying thing that sucks more is the battery life. Yes, I've gone through HP, I've gone through MSI, I've gone through Asus, ROG, and all just the same issues faced. Yeah. So I just had to, you know, for, for, for once, you just have to take that leap and throw in the towel. And yes, I got the MacBook Air. And do you know what exciting part of this? They call it the all day battery life. And literally this, this, this bad boy, you know, can last you from 16 to 22 hours of battery life. And really, this is a 22 hour battery life, you know, system. And, you know, to make, um, things quite very more interesting is the fact that the newly introduced Apple M1 uh, chip, which is Apple's processor to the Windows because they are ditching the Intel uh, processors for the us, uh, you know, for the us, which the first was the introduction of the M1. So comparatively, Windows introduced the Core i9, you know, which is their latest uh, um, processor. Benchmarking the Core i9 to the M1, I was, I was, I was really stunned by how much the M1 flood the Core i9. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, this is over this, but clearly, the benchmarks, you know, set it all. If you are the high-end production users, that's the video editors, the graphics designers, the audio producers, I think, yeah. So this is the perfect fit for you. And if you know that most of your work is on the fly, on the go, and you need, you know, to stay in power to, you know, keep creating, this is the system for you. And also, if you live in this Nigeria, and I know that the power supply here is very poor, I would want to say, yes, that money that you should have used to buy generator and buy fuel to service it every time, just add it to the money you have and buy yourself a Mac. So that money that you're saving to buy a generator so that at least you can have a backup power plan, please add it and buy a Mac. Now, the advantage is that this, you just have to charge it maybe for an hour and you have a full day battery life. And whereas you need to buy a fuel to run your generator for that long, I don't know about whatever, but look, this really has served me like, you know, but I don't know really, this has really, you know, opened my eyes to a whole world of possibilities that is, and I'm glad I've made the switch. And I'm so sorry that I'm ditching you for her. I'm like, I'm really sorry for all the good times we've had. You know, this is me saying that it's respectfully that I'm going for good. Thank you for all the the sacrifices you've made for me, you know, through thick and thin. Okay, this is me just trying to be very nice to my life. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's the story. But um, I'd leave you to make your decision. Yeah.